We have a Bailey joining us today. She's very uninterested in filming, but she is still helping like a good little trooper. <laughs> now she's leaving. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is Sam, and I hope you guys are having a great day today. I am here today with a fall book haul. It's been a while, I feel like, since I've done a book haul, but I've gotten quite a few books from publishers and authors this past month, like more than I think I've ever gotten before. And so I'm like, why not do a haul? Plus one of them's kind of Halloween themed. So this is in the spirit of Halloween since tomorrow at the time of posting is in fact Halloween. So why not? The first book that I have to show you guys is one that I received from Tor that I am quite excited about. And that is a Ballista by Stephen Brust, a novel of Vlad Taltos, which I've gathered there are quite a few books in this series, but what Thomas from SF180 told me is that you can, in fact, read this one kind of like a standalone, which is very exciting for me because I do want to read it. But it follows our character of Vlad, who is a human. I'm gathering living in a city of dragons, and sounds like some people want him dead, and he ends up kind of going on the run, and it just sounds very exciting. Plus, I like dragons, and this is a dragon book. Like, look at that cover. So I am very excited. Plus, I, I can see the other very cool covers on the back here. So I'm going to have to check out more from this author in the series but I hear it kind of gets mixed reviews some people really enjoy it some people not so much so very interested in seeing where I fall on that spectrum the next book I received from Disney Hyperion and that is Magnus Chase the third volume book of Magnus Chase Wow I cannot use the appropriate words today the third and final book is the ship of the dead and it is up to Magnus and his friends to stop ring rock which I'm fairly certain I'm saying wrong Sorry if I am, but it basically just follows them as they try to set out to stop Loki. And I started it. I'm only that much through the book. It's okay so far. It's it's not my favorite of his books thus far, but I'm still enjoying it. Next book is another book I received from Tor and I have already read and posted a review on my channel, and that is Autonomous by Annalie Newitz. This is a book set in about 100 years into our future and it follows a drug pirate, somebody who basically takes drugs that have been patented by drug companies and recreates them and provides them to people who would not otherwise be able to afford them. However, she ends up pirating a drug that has some really terrible side effects. So she kind of, or she, by the way, I haven't told you her name. Her name is Jack and she is a bisexual pirate, drug pirate. Um, <laughs> so she does have a name. Anyway, so she kind of sets out to rectify the wrong she has done because this drug is harming people and yeah it's just it's an interesting book I, I don't read a lot of sci-fi anymore but this was definitely a fun one that I quite enjoyed the next book is one that I bought myself and I feel like I might have showed this in another haul video I don't think I did though because I got it last month I think anyway that is Grace of Kings by Ken Liu this is the first book in the Dandelion trilogy I feel like it might be Dandelion Empire I'm sorry clearly I'm not prepared at all for this video but I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book. Uh, I know that James, her name's Chatham, absolutely adores this book and I'm excited to finally read it myself. I actually actually nominated this for my work book club and everybody voted for it. And it's going to be our read for November and December. So I am excited to have even more incentive to read it and I'll have lots of people to discuss it with. So I'm very intrigued to see what's gonna happen in this book. The next few books I have to show you guys, actually I am shedding, look at that. Yep, shedding my own hair. <laughs> The next few books I actually received today because I checked my P.O. box. The first one is from a indie author, Zach D. Cole, and he sent me three of his books. The first one is Rotten Apples, a love story, sort of. The next one is Cruel Caspa, which seems to be about an anti-hero. He's a wizard who's already been banished from his home planet, and he's walking around on Earth being his arrogant, jerky self. So this one sounds like it might be kind of a fun one for the Halloween time, plus it's small. And then the final one is A Cry of Canvases, which is a first in a series. I don't know too much about what this one is about because there isn't a synopsis on inside the book, but it seems like it follows a bunch of supernatural creatures and things. So it seems like it'll be an interesting book. And I, of course, I love fantasy, so I think this will be one that I will probably enjoy. And the last book that I got in my P.O. box today was from a my lovely friend on Twitter, Openly Bookish, and she sent this to me because it is from one of her favorite indie authors. And it's Ketsnia Ansky, and it is called Siren Suicides. The story follows 16-year-old Aylin Bright, who is trying to flee her abusive father and ends up trying to commit suicide by jumping off the Seattle Aurora Bridge. However, when she dives into the water, she is actually taken by a group of sirens who then make her one of their own. And she becomes involved in the world of the sirens, trying to come to grasp with her supernatural powers and abilities. And it sounds like it'll be a very intriguing book. This book seems like it'll be a, a sad but interesting read and one that I'm looking forward to diving into. Plus, I really quite enjoy the cover. I think it looks very cool. And the last set of books I have to show you guys all came from Tor. It was part of their like trick or treat package. It came with a bunch of Halloween goodies and candies and things, but I already opened it because the package was kind of 
kind of destroyed because the post office sucks and they basically just ripped the package all over. I'm surprised it actually got to me all in one piece, but it did. So some of the fun things they had in there was like this cute little jack-o'-lantern, like, um, you know, the candy buckets that you use as a kid. And inside there were like different little goodies, like a rubber ball and there was Halloween slinky and things like that. So it was full of a bunch of little fun things. There's also a, a ghost stamp, which I thought was pretty cool. And inside were six different books that featured ghosts and zombies and goblins and different supernatural Halloween type themes. The first one of those was When I Cast Your Shadow by Sarah Porter. The story follows Ruby, whose brother Everett passed away and she keeps seeing him in nightly haunting visits. And Everett is actually trying to protect her from Dashiell, who is somebody that basically made a deal with the land of the dead and he's going to use her to kind of fulfill that deal. So Everett's trying to protect her from beyond the grave and Ruby is trying to figure out what all of this means. So it sounds like it'll be kind of an interesting book. I don't read a lot of horror books, so it's kind of fun to get ones like these. Plus I love how shiny this cover is. Like look at that. If I was stranded somewhere in the middle of nowhere, I would I would hope I would have this book because you could like use this to hail an airplane. Not hail, but you know, they'd see you. Wow, this this whole thing is just not coming out of the mouth the way it was it's supposed to I just words. And the second book they sent me was Enhanced by Carrie Jones, which features Amanda who just saved her mother from alien clutches and she wants to kind of set about to eradicate the alien threat, but nobody will help her. So she's kind of on her own with protecting everybody from the alien threat. The next book sounds like it'll be kind of a fun and humorous one, so I don't know, I might try to read this one this week since it's like Halloween week. And it is Seriously Wicked by Tina Connolly, and it is all about Cam, whose mother wants her to be just like her, and that of course is a wicked witch. But Cam wants no part of it, she's always trying to foil the witch's plans, and this time things have gotten out of hand because the witches have summoned a demon who has infested the new, or possessed the new boy at school, and now just crazy things are happening. People are being turned into dragons and zombies, and she, it's up to Cam to kind of set about to set things to write. So it sounds like it'll be kind of a fun one. I don't know. I mean, I'm in the mood for a fun book. I've read some heavy books lately, so this one sounds like it'll be a good one to take a break with. The next book is a new one from Sheena McGuire, which is Deadlands Boneyard. I believe it's the first in a series, and it's, oh, apparently it's based on the best-selling role-playing game. No idea. I've never heard of this game. <laughs> Our main character of Annie, and she is the mistress of monsters, basically running kind of a circus sideshow. Of course, the monsters are the attraction, but she is also running from her past and trying to protect her mute daughter. So Annie tries to make some money before winter sets in goes to the Oregon backwoods town of the clearing. However, though they've heard that they can make quite a bit of money in the clearing, it seems like some ominous things are happening. So it seems like this is kind of a creepy vibed book. I haven't read anything by her yet, but I've heard she's an amazing author, so I'm very excited to check it out myself. The next one is Weave a Circle Round, which actually sounds like a really fun book. It features Freddie, who is somebody who struggles with not seeming weird and trying to fit into her own family in school, but soon some very odd neighbors move in next door and everything about them is very strange from the way that their house defies physics to just their general actions and suddenly she's stuck thousands of years in the past with these strange neighbors and kind of having to find her way back home. It sounds like it's definitely one that could be quite entertaining. It's being compared in the back to Madeline LaEngel and Diana Wynne-Jones, which are two authors that I really enjoyed growing up. So I don't know, I think this one might be one that I would enjoy myself. Final book is Last Chance by Greg Hurwitz. And it sounds basically like Invasion of the Body Snatchers, which is one of the few horror movies I actually kind of enjoy. So it seems like it'll be a creepy book, plus the cover is freaking me out with, with the creepy shadow person with the glowing eyes. Um, so yeah, it seems like it'll definitely be a creepy read that I may have to read on a sunny day because I don't do well with super creepy things. I just don't. I, it's why I like Christmas. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for my fall and kind of Halloween themed book haul. If you've read any of these, I would love to know your thoughts on them down below, so be sure to tell me because I am always curious. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Until next time, happy reading. Bye!